Hey everybody, it's uh, Thursday evening and I'm getting ready to go for a speaking engagement uh, over at Habersham at the Park House. It's the clubhouse by the tennis courts, my old stomping grounds. But anyway, uh, a group, actually a group that uh, I'm gonna be joining and Robin is too, I think, called Palmetto Citizens for Informed Governance has invited me to speak and tell my story about the election board and uh, you know what I think we can do to uh, help Beaufort County. So anyway, I'm so nervous um, and kind of excited too to meet the new people, but also then it's Thursday today, then tomorrow we've got friends coming over for cocktails and then we're going to Harold's and I know I haven't taken you there, so get ready because it's gonna be a good one. Uh, buckle up. It's going to be a bumpy ride. I'm so nervous, so I'm just going to try to read off here. But Annette said she wanted me to speak a little bit about being on the election board, and um, I think I'm probably the shortest lived election commissioner that uh, Beaufort County has ever had, uh, the city of Beaufort. But um, I, uh, to get the job, I just applied. There was an application on uh, the city of Beaufort Facebook page. I applied, the city council accepted, and the mayor, and uh, that was in February of this year. And then in March, I did my first gig, which was the special election to fill this uh, seat that the mayor took when he left city council. And um, I just uh, oversaw all that. It was me and another fella called Daryl. And it was one of the most exciting things. I mean, I was just, I loved it. I felt so proud. It was really great. Uh, we don't know what to do after November 3rd. And so my girlfriend and I were saying, we need to get people together. Let's try to get people just to, so we can be with one another. You know, not only to talk about voter fraud, but or election integrity and so let's have a rally you know Lynn had put on his telegram if anybody around town or you know if I can get there if you're close enough I will come if, you know we should do 50 people at a rally not these big giant Trump rallies and all that so that's how our rally was born I called Lynn he said he would attend and my girlfriend happens to own the golf course where we had it and so our uh, you know location was set we had a wonderful rally a lot of you were there it just the vibe was great and I, I learned a lot about you know how our vote was stolen but um, it was for more than that you know it was just for us to be together and so lo and behold five days later there was an article in the newspaper saying that um, they had discovered they did some really stealthy investigative reporting and went to my social media and found out I was an election commissioner. And so that's how that all snowballed. And um, in the first article, there were several. The um, uh, president of the Beaufort Democratic Party said I should be removed, uh, my life should be canceled, all my social media should be canceled, and my girlfriend who owns the golf course uh, the business should be ruined. They should boycott, you know, they should, it, it was just uh, so sad. And so to, I, I tell you what, I'm, I'm glad, this is such a hot issue and I'm glad to take the fall for us because it has brought us all together. You know, there's power in numbers and you know, now we can move forward and try to do something about it. Yeah. How much your friend's business, the golf club? You know what? They had about 10 new members. Very nice conversation, uh, the mayor and I, and I thought, well, maybe I have a chance here. And so I knew by the next phone call that, um, you know, so many people had been reaching out. Some, uh, I guess, some emails were mean spirited, and th they didn't like it. The council just was appalled by all this. But did the council or the mayor say anything when they wanted to cancel me? and you know ruin my friend's business no, nobody seemed to care about that but that's beside the point so anyway um the mayor i asked if i could submit a statement to the you know the meeting because he said it was going to be uh, an executive session private he felt that was the right way to handle it i appreciated that and uh, but no i couldn't submit a statement and so um, <laughs> the next thing i know i was in front of the fire you know the attorney the city attorney stood up and um you know, mentioned all the laws that I had 
broken, apparently, and I've heard from other people that I really didn't break any laws. Asking for a forensic audit. Mm -hmm. And I got this BS answer back from the Secretary of State. You know, oh, we don't need to do this and that and whatever and all this garbage. And then we confronted the head of the Republican Party for Buford, uh, Kevin mm -hmm. asshole or something. I don't, I don't know. And, and he said, Kevin Rhino. He said, he said, that'll never happen. And yeah. it's like, yeah. we call him a rhino to his face. Yeah. Now, if you know what's going on in Arizona, with Wendy Rogers, and there is a petition that has Congress people from all over the country signing it saying, we did, want he, did he really do it the right thing for those years? Mm. I think he did. You know, I, who knows now? Then you start second guessing yourself, you know, because I think they're all gaslighting us right now. Exactly. I don't know what to think. It makes your head hurt, you know. So I just want to say hi, Elise. Yeah. Thank you so much for sharing, and I'm so sorry oh, God. for what you Thanks. brought it's Thank such an you. eye-opener because a lot of us have migrated from the north to come to a nice red state where we think that, you know, we're in a free state now, yeah. and, um, you know, I'm, I'm a black sheep in my family, of course, I'm a I hear that a lot. You come in, pay for steak night, and then you come around this way. Hey, so, sorry to interrupt. And then you have to come through here, get your steak, right? And then you come through here. Sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry. And then you come through here, and there's uh, baked potatoes and salad here. And then this is where you sit and eat. This is it. Isn't that crazy? And when you do steak night, you have to call ahead, like in the day, and say how you want your uh, meat cooked. Uh, yeah. Murdoch. Oh. Oh Burley Murdoch. Oh my goodness. Burley Oh, Jesus. Jesus. crazy? <laughs> Look, Ray. How long have you worked here? 48 years. No. 48. You must have started working when you were a baby. Uh, it was almost there. <laughs> you have not worked here 48 years. 48. Good Lord. Yeah, Harold was my uncle, so we started. Uh, I was 12 going on 13. I should have uh, run in. Wow. <laughs> well, y'all enjoy. Thank you. From in my six drinks On my car post way Smelling the sweat that began to fall Wasted away again by the river Searching for my lost shaker of song Some people claim that there's a woman to blame, but I know hell it's a crazy fault. There's nobody's fault.